Oof. Hi everyone, I'm Alicia Anderson and I think I'm in the wrong place. I was planning on hanging out at the pool today, but this pool is full of nasty, stagnant water and there are mosquitoes everywhere. Oh, ooh, woo! It's a good thing I sprayed myself with insect repellent before I came here, ugh. This pool needs to be cleaned up because it's a mosquito breeding ground and mosquitoes can carry the West Nile virus. Okay, look. In fact, we should all learn more about how to protect ourselves and reduce the mosquito population. And I'm getting out of here. West Nile virus typically affect people who are older, very young, or people who have immuno uh, compromisations, so or, or immunocompromised. Um, underlying health issues and things like that. Um, we do uh, tracking throughout the summer months, uh, basically beginning in April and going all the way through, th through October. We test at uh, 42 fire stations every week, plus uh, additional sites throughout the city that are deemed appropriate. The city will inform you if a West Nile virus mosquito is found in your area, and there are things you can do to avoid mosquito bites. Wearing your DEET base repellent, Draining any standing water that you may have on your property is very good. We encourage uh, dressing in long sleeves if at all possible. I mean, it is Texas, but we do encourage dressing in long sleeves. It keeps the mosquitoes away. Dusk and dawn, for sure, uh, with West Nile virus, we definitely want people to avoid going out at dusk and dawn, if at all possible. I mean, people do want to enjoy the outdoors and we highly encourage that, but if you're gonna do that, wear your repellent for sure. Basically, knowing your neighbors and talking to your neighbors is another portion of that. Uh, it helps to uh, create bonds and then you can share information and help them drain their standing water if they have that kind of issue. Uh, maintain their pools if they have that kind of thing in their backyard. Getting rid of standing water around your house is very important. But if you have a bird bath or pond, you can use mosquito larvicide to kill mosquito larvae that are living in the water. Typically we use a, a BTI dunk. We call it a donut because it looks like a donut. And uh, you just apply it to a small area of water and uh, it will kill the mosquito larvae so long as they are feeding. Zika virus is a little different from West Nile virus. We don't do the testing on mosquitoes for Zika virus because it is not very efficient uh, in finding those cases. We basically have to wait until someone has Zika in order to find out and test that human. Um, we work very heavily with the uh, Tarrant County Public Health. They provide lots of information online. You can call their number as well to find out information on Zika. If you see any standing water in your neighborhood, report it to the City Call Center at 817-392-1234. Here's a look at other events happening in and around Fort Worth in the next few weeks. For a listing of more events and city meetings, you always can check the calendar at the city's website.